my tongue yet. I really don't like listening to her. Sorry, I can't. I knew Bella, you heard his story. Tanya was dead. An undead. A Nosferatu. She is fine right now, isn't she? I don't understand with all this talk about Of course well, I that doesn't seem very smart. Who stole my baby from me. Still, I think I can I... Oh, she is her joyful self again. The sound of a child's voice is this I have always found it difficult to express emotion. Mordavian men are not supposed to sh I do not know what to make of Tanya's stories about vampires. It is gladly though I would go to the castle and throw I have all You hear a chorus of responses, some coming from the kitchen. Goodbye and thank you. No, we make so many friends. You have brought real joy to Mordavia by bringing Tanya back. When she was stolen, it was as if all the laughter here had been taken as well. You gave us back our happiness. You're welcome, yes. Good day, and good to see you again. Good to see you too. The monastery is toast. Good. Let me work out my butt. Work on my glutes real quick. This is a little t That did You pick up two of the metal- Your leg- Our stats are pretty good. I mean- some of it could be better, but I'm not too concerned with it. I think we're plenty skilled to handle the end game that is coming up. I truly believe that. The days are getting cooler and winter's short. coming. I want some free potions. I had been preparing a research report to tell the world about my process for reanimating di and yet if I wait too long, some other scientist may publish first. Why it is distinctly possible. Then again, maybe. To become a certified genius, one must obtain a certificate of genius from the Positively International Genius Society. There's a bit more to it than that, of course, but that's the gist. <laughs> I'm the only pig in this area, that's for sure. Ooh, ooh, look at his mouth. It's gross. I don't like it. Many of the Academy scientists are... Well, this is probably goodbye forever, so... To tell Dr. Cranium about the many undead creatures abroad in Moldavia, about the rumors that vampires inhabit the castle. There are, of course, no such thing as living undead. Frankie is the closest that science can come to such a thing, and she is a product of science, not of magic. You should get out more. You say goodbye. If you should come across any interesting sample, Perhaps I should keep the results of the Frankie experiment to myself. I am not sure if the world is quite ready for infinitely agreeable artificial women. I shall need to explore the situation. That's so gross. I'm sorry. You nasty. With Arana's staff gone, the boulder is now just another large rock formation. Although flowers still grow on it. Now. After some rest. After some rest. 
Gotta kill Optus some time, baby. Opt to some re We can get our fortune red one last time, I believe. Well, no, we can get it red twice more, but this is the last time for us. Because I think we're going to start endgame stuff as soon as it... Well, no, 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 we can get it red tomorrow. I take that back. throws me off. In my dreams last night, I heard the Arana staff speak. It said the sacrifice had been made, the dead had risen, and the living had died. When I awoke, I feared it was you who made the sacrifice. I sent Davy to discover the truth. He climbed over the wall and started sniffing around where the staff had been. He became scared when he caught your scent Aww. there. But then, he scented you going with the child to the inn. It is not our way to be concerned about outsiders. You have certainly become more than an outsider to us. Do I get Davy's hand in marriage now? I think they'd make a cute couple. You tell about Tanya, Toby, and the star. So the child has been restored to life through the sacrifice of Toby. And the staff of Irana is in your possession. Oh, with this, you have undoubtedly angered someone very powerful. I would be very careful traveling at night if I were you. I'll be alright. Listen, it is said that the only certain way to kill a vampire is to drive a wooden stake through its heart. This can only be done while the creature is helpless during the day. The Nosferatu have great powers of enchantment, and those foolish enough to face a vampire by night usually wind up beating its lust for blood. Probably. That is all. Do not speak of it! Do Shut up. If I give you money, you gonna give me a reading. I'm gonna kind of breeze through this one, so pause if you can't, or if you don't have time to read. I'm just gonna skim really quickly. Aha! The mist. In her past, she has been dominated and defeated. Her significator card. Let us learn. It is a card of courage and defiance. This is a woman with great inner qualities. The tragedy of her past has moved. Reveal now that which is... The sign of the Magus, the master of magic itself. She has great power and self-confidence. This can also imply self-deception and illusion as well. Now, let us learn what else the cards will reveal of this woman. An inverted death. Hmm. This signifies stagnation. She is changeless, and her gains have been balanced by her losses. So what? Ah, 
this card shows that she but it can also show power used for self again. Aha, this is the card of love. Hmm, it seems that our mystery woman is falling in love with someone. This is not what she was striving for. We never flirted with Katrina. Now you shall reveal the future as she would have it. Oops. The world. Ah, it is the summation of all. This can be the symbol of eternal life. Ah, now we'll... Now this is truly the card of illusionary goals. That which she seeks to gain. What she desires and what she will gain through her actions are very different things. She cannot see that she is... Now, let us see the card which rules over... The Dark One plays a part in her present and future as well. Somehow her goals are linked to it. Everyone in this accursed land is affected by this Dark One. Oh, that we had never... The reading is over. Alright, thank you. These readings get increasingly more... May your luck hold. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Is it a bunny? No, it's one of you. there when he does that. Oh, graphics. The days. Winter is coming. Think you've done about as much stair stepping as your body can handle. What's our climbing like? I guess we don't really need it, we can levitate, but it would be nice to have a good one. I think it's pretty good. Some guard. You get it. Time to skip to the next day. You unlock the door. Hopefully, if everything is panning out, panning out as planned. That was hard to say. After. After. First full night of sleep. Okay, good. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. The note says, Meet me at the castle gates tonight. We have much to talk about. Katrina. We 
appreciate your plain but nourishing breakfast. It has more than a bit of garlic added for spice. Get a wide smile of greetings. You have done much. You get away. It's the last I'll ever see of me. You do not need to go looking for trouble. It. Hey, Burgermeister. Good to see you. So if I come in, maybe I can talk about your grandpappy. What are you looking? That is the sword of my grandfather Piotr. I do not know how I can tell, but somehow I am sure of it. He was supposed to have deserted my grandmother. You keep it. You certainly have earned it. I was so ashamed of my grandfather. Everyone in town called him coward, yet he really was a hero after all. He was awesome. That shield on the wall over there was Piotr's also. Take it. There's no sense in leaving it hanging on the wall if you can use it. Awesome. Thank you. I used to dream about this sword. Piotr disappeared before marrying my grandmother. Everyone thought he had abandoned her. The scandal was worse when she bore my father. Her family... My grandmother always knew that Piotr had not abandoned her. She used to wander out to the center of town at night sometimes. Would find her asleep by the staff, a smile on her face. Aww. She'd tell us she'd been with Piotr, but no one believed her. Every well, I'm gonna say mm. goodbye now. You fought a difficult and bitter battle to help someone who was already dead. Who else would do such a thing? Me. I did not believe you before when you said you were a hero, because I didn't believe heroes existed. Never was I happier to be wrong. I am very proud to meet you, Paladin. So the ghost of my grandfather has been near me all my life. It seems so strange to think of it. No, it is I who thanks you. You proved my grandfather was not a coward, and that heroes really do exist. Yeah. I can never repay you enough. Look at him being a little sunshine boy. I like that. Farewell. Thank you again. I'm never coming back, I don't think. Yeah. That didn't do it. Thanks for returning Piotr's sword. My family's honor shall at last be cleansed. Some free potions. It is good to see you again, my young. Hey. Oh, being a world famous scientist is a very full. You tell Dr. Creamy. You would like to visit Silmaria someday, but fear you are trapped forever in Modaria. Ha ha ha! Silmaria, a lovely place by the sea. You must be sure to visit the Academy of Science there when you visit. I am sure you will have the opportunity someday. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we will too, for some reason. You say good. Gosh, I really don't know what would give myself that idea. It would be a idea. shame to lose such a promising future scientist. I'm a wizard, Dad. Good luck. Alright, we'll go visit the gypsy, get our last reading of the game.
the gypsy friend returns. Your Napaki Vodnak. Welcome. You talk about the things. You have many friends now. Ah, I am happy. My mate, my love, is now bearing our child. I am also very worried. It is a day Magda tried to read the future of our child to be, but it was as though she was blind. I am concerned about you. I keep having dreams about being chased by... Bah, I hate such dreams. If it were real, I would turn and face my attackers. A wolf dies fighting. I still kill in my death hunt. When a gypsy gets past a certain age... Different voice she again. She goes on a death hunt. She chooses her prey as to her rank in the tribe. The top of the prey. Mine was a wyvern. We celebrate in song and dance before the hunt, knowing we may not see the hunter again. She must hunt and kill the prey in... That is the way of the gypsy wolf. It is not wise to speak of such things. To do so is to call attention to ourselves. Now, I will learn what I can about the Dark One. We have avoided the subject so long, we too are ignorant. Perhaps upon your next return, we will have the information you need. <laughs> Again, the... The woman of loving shall be re... This is the sign of magic and creativity. She, as the others who influence your life, has the power... The Ace of Cups is the sign of overflowing joy and... Ah, she is generous and loving, and she has shown this to... What now can we learn of the more recent... Ah, your gentlewoman too has been bound... This is a sign of balanced force. That with which the woman came in conflict has also been held in check. They were... What? The hanged man is the symbol of sacrifice. Let... Alas, this card shows a tomb and yet her sacrifice still affects you. Somehow I can... Now! <gasps> the Dark One. This is the first time in these readings that the darkness which lies waiting has been active. Somehow, this woman is bound by the darkness. Whether she has been... I think that this powerful woman battled with the Dark One. She was defeated, or perhaps... But what was the outcome of... You! That you are not only a friend to the gypsies, but a great hero as well. I'm oh, duh, didn't you listen to my stories about how great I am? My young friend. Get real. You will determine the fate of this woman. You shall think. So the darkness still covers all. I had hoped that you might be spared, that you might not have to face the darkness. Go now. Learn what you can of the Dark One. Dark One? Know of your... Make what you will of... You say goodbye. I wish you well upon your travels. Fire!
That's it, man. Now we just gotta rest till night time. This is um, gonna take forever. Done about as much. Already rest in peace. Hopefully, not, not yet. After some rest, it's crazy when you think about it. These games chronologically aren't set that far apart from each other. Like this is only a few months after Tarna. After some rest. No, this is immediately after Tarna. I'm sorry. Tarna was only a couple months after Shapir. After some rest. And I think the fifth game is immediately after this one as well. After. I don't quite remember the transition between those two. After some. Just in case there's anything I forgot to do. I'm gonna make this a separate game. The mess. Oh, do I have to go to the castle gate to meet them? I forget. Suddenly you have a terrible feeling of peril. You recognize Ad Avis, yep. the evil wizard whom you thought you had killed in Rasir. Somehow, he has returned to life. Thinking back, you recall how Ad Avis once brought you under his control. You realize that you must avoid looking into his eyes at all costs. How nice of you to come. I'm afraid I accidentally signed the wrong name to your note. Tricky. It's been ages since we last met. Come here and let me look at you. You smile and say hello to other beefs. I hate cheerful people. <laughs> I eliminated them in Rasir and I shall do the same here. I'm sorry about that, man. With the utmost courtesy, you apologize to Adavis for having killed him in a horrible, fiery death back in Rasia. You destroyed my plans of world domination and ended my life, turning me into a mere vampire slave for Katrina. I will have my vengeance upon you both. You have no power against one such as I. Let's play a little game of fox and hound, shall we? I have summoned the hounds of death. Now we shall see whether you've kept up with your running lessons. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. That's not what I meant to press. Oh, <clears throat> that was fast.
I did. I not dead. You fool! Did you really believe you could get away from me? I have you now, and you will pay for my death. It is you that caused me to become a vampire. If you had not killed me, I would never be forced to serve the Dark Master again. You probably blame me for all the problems around here, don't you? You understand nothing. The Dark Master is the cause of all the woe that is here. The Dark Master brought you here against my better judgment. The Dark Master made me what I am now, a Nosferatu and seeks to do the same to you. But I shall spare you that fate. I will mercifully end your miserable existence. Then, the Dark Master and I will call forth eternal darkness, and we will no longer be limited to travel at night. Together, my Master and I will create an army of undead, and we will conquer the world. Pity you won't be there to witness this. Cannot stop us now. Yeah, I can. We'll never find He's monologuing. This dungeon. I'm chained up though, so I can't do anything more about it. More magic than you will ever have can stop us. You will die, knowing that you were destroyed by the Dark Master. The sun now rises. I must go to my rest. You too shall rest. I will not allow you the chance to escape your fate, or to use that stake and hammer I torment you with here. Weapons of my destruction so close at hand, yet so far. Sleep he has been waiting so long to say this shit. Tomorrow, He's like die. planned this whole speech out for weeks. You find yourself falling asleep. You wake up from what you thought was a nightmare, only to discover that it's only too real. Mm. You sense the vague impressions of ancient pain and horror in this place. There's also the sense of something dark and very much alive near you, hungering for you. 